Hello everyone, welcome back to WS Group. So in this session, we will be learning about nested if statement. In our last session, we covered what is if, elif, else statement where we could provide multiple statements. Today, we will be talking about nested if statement. Now, what is nested if statement? Nested, the term nested itself is like a nest. Nest means what something is inside something, something is inside something, right? That's how a nest is formed, like one on other, one on other, one on other, right? Here also in Python, we can relate to this word nested in our conditional statements when there is a condition inside a condition. When we give multiple conditions inside a condition, when we want to give a single condition also inside one condition, that is called as nested if statement. Also, if you want to become a successful data analyst and you want to learn from our industrial experts, then you may call on the number given below or you can also click on the link given in our description. Not just that, with our every batch, you will be getting two demo classes for free. So let's get started, guys. Now, what is nested if statement in the terms of a definition? Here we have the whole definition on what is nested if statement. Where, um, if I explain it in a simple term, it is uh, that easy that where a computer executes one thing, but also if we give another condition that, okay, if this thing also happened, we have another condition here, which needs to be satisfied. So that is nested if statement where we give condition inside a condition. Let's have a look at the example that what example we, uh, we can use as a nested if statement. So here we are going to discuss about nested if statement. So I'm going to write down nested if statement. So, here I'll consider a condition, again the similar condition I'm going to use that marks are is equals to 75. I'll give a if condition that if marks are greater than 80 in that condition print, uh, you will, or maybe we can just write good job this time, that good job. Okay, followed by some explanation to make it like a good job. Now I want to give another condition here that what if a person has scored more than 80 and um, in also um, scored more than like not just 80 but also scored more than 90 like a good job for 80 but if it is more than 90 I'll say something else as well if it is not more than 90 then I'll just you know stick to something else. So let's say I'm gonna write over here that if marks are greater than 90 in that condition we will print Excellent work. Okay. Else, print, you can do better next time. This is for this if that if it is more than 90, we will say excellent work. If it is in the case of 80 only, we are still sticking to 80 that the marks are 80. But inside the 80, if it is more than 90, we will tell them excellent work. If it is not more than 90, we will tell them you can do better next time. But what if marks are not 80 as well? So for that, we will write another else condition which where we can print. Please do better next time. So let's run and see what happens when we run this code. It says please do better next time. Let's say my marks are more than 80 this time. So I'll write over here 82. So that means it will satisfy the first condition that is if marks are more than 80. But it won't satisfy the second condition that is if marks are less than, sorry, more than 90. So it can, it will say you can do better next time. Because we have given a condition that even if it is more than 80, if they are greater than 90, we will say excellent work. If, it is, if they are not greater than 90, we will say you can do better next time. Right. So good job and you can do better next time. So if it is satisfying 80, then good job. And if it is not satisfying uh, 90, it says you can do better next time. If it satisfied both the ifs, that means both the ifs we are using inside the nested loop, then let's say I have 95. And if I run it, it gives me good job and also excellent because it is satisfying our first condition that is the mark should be more than 80. Also, it is uh, satisfying the another condition that we have given in if that if it is more than 80, is it more than 90 as well? Yes, it is more than 90 as well. That's why we are writing uh, it. We get the excellent work over here. And if it is not more than 90, we are getting, we can do better next time. Yeah. So this was the example of nested if statement where we have one 
if statement inside that if statement we have another if statement so i hope nested if statement is clear to you and you have no doubts in the questions even if you have doubts in any questions we will be solving some questions in our problem solving section and then maybe all your doubts will be cleared so stay connected and i'll see you in the next session